Hey, church family. Pastor Charles here, hanging out on a rock. You know, um, Jesus once looked at Peter and said, Peter, I want you to understand that I'm gonna change your name to be Rock. And this past week, I think a lot of people have felt like there's not a lot of rock underneath them. They felt like there's a lot of shifting sand, the markets, the virus stuff, watching the snowball of things as uh, NBA and NHL and NFL and Major League Baseball all began to cancel and not host their stuff. There's a whole lot of fear going on inside of our world today. You know, what's incredible to me is that that emotion of fear is nothing new. In fact, Paul wrote to Timothy and he said, listen, I want you to understand something about when you become a new creation in Christ, that you no longer have a spirit of fear inside of you. In fact, he says that God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us one of power and of love and of a sound mind. I know a lot of you, I've talked with you this week at different times and you've been exercising sound mind and sound judgment. And uh, I've been asking you to be praying for, for me and for um, those of us that are leading this church to have sound judgment and discernment and the things that we're doing. But today we got a phone call. The school called us and said, hey, listen, we are discontinuing any facility use agreements that we might have for the foreseeable future. So we're left without a spot right now for this Sunday. Now, some of you are probably rejoicing. You're like, woohoo, don't have to come to church on Sunday. Well, the great news is that we've said this all along, that church is not a building. Um, a church is a people. And any place that there are people who are gathered in Jesus' name, Jesus has said, hey, I'm there. Um, and so here's what we're going to do. This week, we're going to invite you to have church in your PJs. Get your whole family together, wear your PJs, and turn on the TV. And you can log on either to YouTube, Facebook Live, or you can even go to our brand new australia.online.church. And you can watch service. We're going to host service. Courtney and the, the band are going to lead in some worship. And then I'll come with a message. By the way, I'm really excited about this message. Um, we have an incredible word that Jesus says from the cross. And you know, we could be incredibly cross about the fact that we are not able to meet in the school. But really, this is a great opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to do it, do church in your pajamas, or even better, it's an opportunity for you to invite some friends and some neighbors to come over to your house, hang out with you, hang out with your family, and to enjoy church together. And to hear a word about something that Jesus said when he thought and he felt like everything was against him. You might feel like that right now. You're not really sure how everything's gonna work out. You might feel a little bit forsaken. It's exactly what Jesus said on the cross, and we're going to talk about that on Sunday. Hope that you'll tune in. Hope that you'll check it out Sunday at 10. By the way, maybe you're in a place, in a spot where you're like, I'm not really sure how to do all that technology. Well, we've got six people who are lined up that said, hey, we would love to have some people come over to our houses. So if you'll log on to our website, australia.church, if you'll click on something for everybody, we'll help you get connected. We want you to be a part of a watch party. We want you to be able to be a part of this. Thank you so much for being a part of the Church of Australia. And let's be the church.